Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. So this is a kit in 148 scale and it's a profit pack which copies 4K Wolf 190F8 and this is a fresh release which should be already available and we got a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and we are going to open it together with you and check what is supplied inside. So first of all I would like to note this box art it looks quite nice and I would say that's really interesting idea behind it and I guess there will be some backstory published in Edward info. Box size is standard for this brand here you can see comparison with my hand. Yes the whole box design is completely new it's in accordance to recently revised style of the profit packs and that's why we have a slightly bigger box art here. On the side we have some information about the kit also address of the manufacturer and on the opposite side you'll find marking options. So here we have quite an interesting thing because we have seven marking options in one box which is quite unusual for profit pack. We are all used to see five or maybe six marking options but definitely not seven and here we have such a surprise out of the box. By the way this is a kit number 82139 in case you are wonder. And here we have a top opening box so just give me a second to open it. And here is what we have inside. So all spruce are separated into several plastic bags. As usual we are going to open them one by one and see what is actually supplied in this new release from Czech brand. Okay, I'm opening the first plastic bag and in the meantime let me remind you that you can support us with a small donation, it's easy to do because we have a special support DSV button on our website. So you just click it, you will be redirected to the PayPal portal and of course you will be the one deciding how much we will get for um, in form of a donation and all these donations are used for new photo and video equipment or maybe for some interesting kits which are reviewed on the channel and on the website as well. So here we start with the first clear plastic sprue. It is packed into separate plastic bag in order to avoid any accidental scratches and damage. And as you can see molding quality is really nice. Obviously you can assemble the aircraft with open canopy. It would be strange to see something different in a 148 scale. And this is a profit pack so masks will be included. Maybe I can bring closer this part so you can understand what I'm talking about when I'm saying that quality looks nice. As you can see they are clear and crisp. So it's just a matter of careful installation on your model and you will be good to go. Okay. Next we start with grey plastic spruce. So here on the first frame you'll find a mix of various parts both internal and external because here for example we have two propellers we also have two types of the cockpit floor we have three types of the main wheel wells we have engine insert here landing gear legs also some cooling parts propeller hub again some parts for wheel wells another version of landing gear legs so quite impressive set of parts and obviously not all of them will be used and some will stay in your spare parts box so for example here we have first version of the cockpit for and landing gear legs and uh, propeller as well. Note also attachment points on the propeller they will make it easier to separate the part of the sprue. Next we continue with some cooling parts and I'm really glad that this let's say rings or frontal section of the cooling they are actually molded as a single piece part so you won't have any seams in the middle of this part such as uh, some, some other kits in the same scale. Next we continue with some parts for main winding gear wheel wells. Uh, here we have some rack for the uh, bomb under the fuselage. We have also combing panel for the instrument panel. And here we have another version of the cockpit propeller and landing gear legs. Obviously uh, some of this will stay in your spare parts box so it might be handy for your next build. Here we continue with three types of air fans. And also we have, yes we do have engine insert here, we do not get the fully 
um, detailed engine so if you would like to open the cooling to display some engine inside you have to get a separately sold brassing set which is obviously made out of resin here we have some other minor parts i would like to flip over this sprue in order to show you this wheel well parts as you can see they're also nicely detailed so it's just a matter maybe of applying some washes on them and it will be even better looking result okay next we have again mix of various parts but here they are smaller because as you can see their amount is really crazy and i suggest we zoom in straight away into this corner and check what is supplied here so here we have landing gear tires and rims we also have some side panels for the cockpit several types of the instrument panel and here we have some barrels for machine guns both fuselage ones and wing machine guns another version of landing gear wheels by the way of course you can replace the landing gear wheels with brushing upgrade and i would suggest doing so because price is not that huge but you will see the difference so it's really good investment in case you are trying to get a better result on your model next we continue with more cockpit parts here we have the lower section of the instrument panel we continue with wheel rims for landing gear wheels exhaust stacks some antennas for the night version of the focke wolf and that's pretty much all obviously night version is not replicated in today's boxing so these parts will go into your spare parts box straight away okay next we have mix of parts for the external details and i think there is no point in zooming in maybe we can zoom in a bit more just like this so here you can see that we have several types of the machine gun bay cover on the fuselage we have several few tanks which will be placed under the fuselage we have also the separate rudder and i am um, i think these are elevators and here we have tail wings again another type of elevators and we have separate ailerons here so that's pretty much i would say standard set of parts and again be careful in order to use the right parts on your aircraft because it's easy to confuse them with another version and then you have a really strange combo of different parts on your model okay now i'm going to open another plastic bag so this one carries another portion of parts and what i can see there is one more plastic bag on the bottom but we will talk about it a bit later okay so here we have wing parts and you can notice that for example in comparison with bf109 from the same brand here we have uh, wing flaps pre-molded so you won't be able to retract them on the ailerons are separate but external features look impressive so we can zoom in for example here and you can see it with your own eyes we have really nice rivets and recess panel lines so it would be a shame not to show it somehow on your model because the same feature level is present on the top wing halves and if i flip it over here inside you can see that flaps will be actually well it is possible to cut them off but you have to get the separately sold P set which will replace them completely and here by the way you can see again this slightly thinned border which will be easier to cut okay we zoom out and next we continue with fuselage halves so for the fuselage halves we have separate frame both parts are molded together with a tail fin and as you can see cooling parts are pre-molded so you won't be able to you know, separate them somehow but i guess if you plan to install some brassin engine here you will have to cut off this portion because brassin engine actually contains new panels which we can be placed in open position and we have a i would say the same level of features external features or external details on the fuselage the recessed panel lines and rivets are here and the same can be said obviously about another half and if i flip it over inside is almost empty we have only guiding elements for fuselage halves and also for internal parts 
and all cockpit parts they will be installed separately as you remember the cockpit tab let's say it was molded as a single piece part which will be inserted exactly here with help of this large guiding elements so it's not such a difficult task i would say next we have one more sprue and frankly speaking this sprue makes me a bit confused because i'm not sure where these parts will be used so i guess they are designated only for today's version as you can see a lot of new parts well actually all of them are completely new i haven't seen this sprue before and we will have to check the assembly manual in order to understand where they will go but it's worth noting that for example here for this rex i will bring them closer as you can see here we have these special tabs which should protect parts and it means you won't get them in the broken state which is really cool really good design feature which let's say take takes care about the parts next we continue with one more plastic sprue as i said before so here we have various bombs again this is a f8 specific sprue you won't get it in any other model version well at least for now maybe in the future releases it will be available somewhere else but what do we have here so first of all we have this quite interesting broken sprue it was broken in order to fit inside this plastic bag i guess but here you can see several types of bombs and if i flip it over inside we do have some guiding elements which will help you with the proper alignment of these parts together but that's not all because we have as you remember a slightly bigger plastic frame it is also dedicated to bombs but also to several racks so here you can see these parts as you can guess all these bombs and fuel tanks they will have to be glued out of two halves here we have racks i guess they will be placed under the wings because as far as I remember on F8 um, bombs were placed under wings but molding quality seems to be fine here inside again we have some guiding elements so it will be easy to align them together and it doesn't seem to be a challenge to assemble all this stuff together next we have separate plastic bag with a quite interesting thing so here it is it's a PE thread, yes, we get it in every profi pack, so I will show you in a second what is different here. So it's a pre-painted PE thread. Okay. First of all, yes, we have pre-painted PE thread, I will show it closer, as you can see we have the gloss varnish on the dials which should replicate glasses on the rio dials and overall quality looks fine it's a typical edward product so there is nothing to worry about but then we go on with uh, another with another metal addition into this kit as you can see that's unpainted pe thread which carries all necessary parts for bombs so basically all these bombs will get the pe parts fins and that's really cool because it will be more up to scale and you get it as a standard bonus you don't have to buy it separately or spend some extra money next we have another plastic bag with masks this is a profit bag so again no surprise in that give me a second so these masks are pre-cut here you can see them closer if camera will be kind enough to focus we will be even able to check it so here maybe you should be able to see yes now it is visible so we have parts or masks for uh, clear parts and also for landing gear wheels so basically you are literally covered with help of these masks and next we continue with decal sheets so we have large plastic bag which carries decal sheets just give me a second to open them okay obviously both decal sheets are printed in Edward so you don't have to worry about 
printing quality and it's quite interesting that here we have a segmentation which will make it easier to get the right symbols so if I zoom in you can see what I mean we also have some decals for the cockpit so if you are afraid of P parts you can use these decals and again if you are living in a country where a swastika is forbidden this section will be cut off and you will have to assemble it out of these symbols it's quite easy and understandable and you will still get it even if the whole symbols will be cut off and there is one more decal sheet this one is dedicated to stencils we have really nice printing quality but note the year 2017 because they are universal for all types of this aircraft and you won't say the same about the assembly manual which is printed in a typical Edward format but obviously here we have a special version for F8 we have a small history note on the first page what is next? Next is a parts map and blue color means that these parts won't be used. As you can see a lot of elements won't be used but on this sprue only one part won't be used which is really funny in my opinion. Next we start with the cockpit assembly so you assemble the side panels. Here you have to work with P parts straight away unless you decide to use decals on the plastic parts which is really strange in my opinion. Next we continue with instrument panel. We install pilot seat and we install seat belts on the pilot seat. Here we continue with cockpit walls, we assemble this engine insert, then we install all this stuff between fuselage halves and enclose fuselage halves together. Here we have wing parts, do not forget to paint this wheel well area and note that here you have a guide on which holes to drill in case you plan to install this or that type of the armament so pay attention and drill the right ones because otherwise it will be a mess next we continue with main landing gear wheel wells we join wing halves together and then we install wing with a fuselage here you can see by the way the separate cover for the machine gun bay cover and we do not have a uh, machine gun bay fully replicated here. In order to have it you'll have to get a separate bracing set. Next we continue with some coding parts here. And by the way this insert actually repeats the panel lines which helps to avoid any accidental seams in this area which is also quite great design in my opinion. Here you have to cut off the plastic part only for the marking A so pay attention for this small notes and again we have some specific marking modifications here. Next we continue with propeller assembly and canopy parts assembly so in case you plan to open the canopy you will have to use some additional parts install the propeller in place and do not forget about the um, interesting alignment of the landing gear legs on this aircraft type so definitely check it before assembling or finishing the assembly. Here we have masks application guide so as I said masks will be applicable not only for the canopy but also for landing gear wheels and next we continue with bombs assembly <laughs> surprise so here we have separation for each type of the bomb as you can see for example here we have a b 250 three pieces here we have sc 253 pieces again and it will depend on what you choose we even have some underwing cannons as you can see mk103 and next we have also racks for the bombs being installed under the wing and here you can see the loading guide so you will be able to decide what you would like to see on your aircraft next starts the marking guide so here we have first aircraft from Hungary 1944-1945 quite interesting aircraft because of this blue calling on the front and next we have another aircraft from June 1944. This one is from May 1945. So last warrior. Next we have another one from Italy May 1945. One more from Poland August 1944. Here we continue with another aircraft from August 1944. One more from Latvia May 1945 
and the last page is dedicated to stenciling guide for this aircraft. So definitely apply all the symbols, I know some of us are lazy, but this is something what makes this aircraft a bit more realistic looking. So as for the whole kit, it should be already available, you can get it on official Edward website, again kit number is 82139, and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a list, do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual, thank you for joining me today, and bye!